what's going on, my hedgehogs? Here we are, the very Message final coming episode. In. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. Right. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that. But you handled it pretty well. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. There is one other matter, however. The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the Spectres look bad. Your mention of him was politically inconvenient. I wasn't aware of that. I won't discuss him again, sir. I'd appreciate that, Commander. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Huh. Anyway, final episode um, of uh, this. Obviously. That's it, so, uh, the Raphaelos, I think it was. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do this, we're gonna, you know, own Saren, I hope, maybe. Maybe not, he might own me. And no, I don't care. I need to go Raphaelos. Skipper? You don't have to call me that. I'm a traitor now. I probably shouldn't even be wearing this uniform. We had to do this, Shepard. You know that. There's no other way. And you'll always be the Skipper to me. Oh, Captain, my Captain. First Alfred Tennyson, now Walt Whitman. <clears throat> You're full of surprises. Dad loved all those sappy poets. Mom was more into Plath. I'm not a word person, Shepard. Other people say what I mean better than I do. We're mutineers, sailing a stolen warship into the most hostile system in the galaxy. I couldn't blame the Council for calling us reckless or aggressive. Just a few months ago, you would have. I've had some things to think about since coming aboard. Death closes all. But something ere the end, some work of noble note, may yet be done. Not unbecoming men that strove with gods. We'll get home again, Shepard. I believe you'll lead us through. Oh, Captain. My Captain. Is my rank all you see when you look at me? No. I see a strong, passionate man. With a great ass. There are regs against this, you know. You ready to deal with the consequences? I've spent my whole life fighting to get what I want. To get it done, I had to bury a lot of things. During that whole time, not even once did I feel like I was worth what I was fighting for. You make me feel good enough. Bunk here tonight, Ash. With me. Bold word, Shepard. Hey. I like bold. Gonna get it in, gonna get this it isn't in. a contest, Ash. This isn't an act, Shepard. But you'll learn. Holy moly! Hmm. This guy, what the fuck? <laughs> go, go, go! <laughs> Mamma mia! Why is he dressed again? Well now, that's a whole new spin for on the floor and give me 20, huh? <laughs> that was wonderful. Let's make it fine. <laughs> Would you roll your eyes if I said this is the first time in months I felt that all's right in the galaxy? <laughs> yes? Bridge to Commander Shepard. We're five minutes out from the Mew Relay. Well, duty calls. Get up to the bridge, Skipper. I've got other weapons to check out. Hey, Shepard. Whatever happens down there, I just wanted to say... Wait. You know what? I'm not telling you. You want to hear this? You'll just have to come back to me. Run. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Hmm. Well...
Uh, Commander? We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found a way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not
ですイヴェンモナタリングヨーキュミニケーションシンスユーライトディスファシリティイヴェントランスレイトマイアウトプットントゥアフォーマットユーウォーコンプレヘンドマイネームイズヴィジルユーアセーフヒーフォーダモメントバダディスライトリトチェンジソゥンノウェアウォーベセーフワディジュブリングヒーユーマスブレイクアサイクルダディスコンティニューフォーミリオンズヒーズバトゥストップエッユーマスタンダスタンドオイヴォーメイクデサイムステイクスウィディン The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel relay is activated. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel. To use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature, not until the relay is activated and the Reapers invade. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack! That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed, others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. 
All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel Relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel Relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the Conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? 
It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction, a sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in Dark Space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secrecy? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to Dark Space. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm sorry, Liara. We have to stop Saren. Nothing else matters. You are right. I am sorry. My personal feelings clouded my judgment. We... we should go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Hey, there's the conduit. There! The conduit! It's incredible! We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't gonna make it easy on us. The arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel! Evacuate the Council! Citadel Control! Citadel Control, do you copy? System malfunctions across the Come on, we need to. Oh, 
the elevator. Suit up! We're going outside!
it, my head chugs, this is it. Make it in time, Shepard. In time for what? The final confrontation. I think we both expected it would end like this. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer. But I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... For... The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. Caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Andura sector with the entire Arturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you really willing to sacrifice human lives to save the Council, Shepard? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. 
The Council must be sacrificed for the greater good. Don't waste your reinforcements. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up. Save the human fleet to attack Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements! It's the Alliance! Thank the Goddess! Make sure he's dead. He's dead.
Now's our chance. Get it with everything we got. Hard on my flank! We're going in! Anderson, we found them. They're in here. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? Commander Shepard, we have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? Captain Anderson. We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. <laughs> are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As Humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both Humanity and the Council. Sovereign was only a vanguard. 
The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. Mass Effect 1, um, thank you Hedgehogs for all this, uh, the first game, obviously we have Mass Effect 2 and 3, they are massive games, so um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this and I shall, we shall return in Mass Effect 2, so uh, yeah, peace. Let me know your favourite uh, part in the, the entire Mass Effect 1 part and your favourite character and everything like that in the comments as well, yeah, peace.